Washington Wizards. This is a team that was the eighth seed with the duo of Bradley Beal and Russell Westbrook. They made a lot of moves. They definitely shifted the roster from last year, a lot of new additions and subtractions. But this to me is like the, they are the Houston Texans of the NBA. They went out in free agency and they got a bunch of players that don't really move the needle, but I guess are okay. Additions that make them slightly better. Corey Kispert in the draft, Isaiah Todd, Kyle Kuzma, Montrez Harrell, KCP, Dinwiddie, Aaron Holiday. For me, the Wizards, it's really on, do you think this abundance of role players ultimately makes you better as a team rather than having a star in Westbrook? Do you think the additions of Dinwiddie and Kispert and Kuzma and Harrell are much better suited to take you farther than with Westbrook and Hachimura right now isn't with the team? I guess with Washington, my biggest question mark is, are they going to be a good team or not? You know, I can see them being a play-in team, but I can also see them falling off. This is going to answer the question of how good is Bradley Bill? I think this is going to really test Bradley Bill. This is going to be the moment we find out, is Bradley Bill that guy you can build around? Perfect situation, perfect opportunity. You want to stay? Fine. Let's see how good you really are. This team, you're looking at this team. Montrez Harrell, good player. Corey Kispert, good draft. KCP, we know what he is. Solid player. Aaron Holiday, he's all right. Rui, good player. Young player, he's getting better. Danny Advia, we have yet to see much from him. Still young player. But I think with them drafting Kispert. Puts him in a hole. Mm -hmm. Daniel Gafford, good player when they give him some good minutes. Kyle Kuzma has something to prove. Thomas Bryant, good player, got hurt. Spencer Dinwiddie has something to prove. Good player, though. Davis Bertans, good player. We know what he is. So this is a team that can run 9-10 deep. They have one star player, Bradley Bill. He's going to be the leader of the core. Spencer Dinwiddie, he's going to be the point guard. He's not really much of a creator. He's kind of a, a ball hog in a sense. This is the team with a lot of players with something to prove. And that can only uplift you or it can only bring you down. This is... For me, their ceiling is a play-in. This is a play-in team. This is a team that can get into the play-in and can sneak a win or two and then get into the playoffs and then get swept. Their floor is the lottery. I think this team, this is really going to dictate what we think of Bradley Bill. I know we've been on this show. We don't think, we don't, we're not saying Bradley Bill is an all-star. We just don't think he's one of the 20 or the 25 best players in the NBA. 25 for sure. Yeah, 25. I think, you know, 20. we did. Yeah, we did say 25, but 20, which, you know, we're stretching it. So this is really going to decide what he is as a player, you know? And I think this is really going to dictate how he is, who he is, and if this was a really a smart decision to stay in Washington. But nonetheless, they have good players. But their ceiling is a play in because I don't think they have any players that really thread the needle. Oh, we've seen a lot of these players last year. Montrez was unplayable in back-to-back, not just one, back-to-back playoff runs yeah. with the Clippers and then with the Lakers. And then Kyle Kuzma has just fallen off a cliff ever since his rookie year. Granted, injuries have messed him up, but then we don't know his role, and then he just hasn't been good. So it's going to be tough, but they do have players. Rui was good. KCP is a 3 and D player. You know what I'm saying? So Thomas Bryant was good when he was playing. But this their ceiling is a play-in, and their floor is a lottery to me. I'm going to agree that their ceiling would be a play-in team. Do I believe that they'll be a play-in team? Personally, no. I'm not in love with the moves that they made. You trade Russell, you get KCP, you get Kyle Kuzma, you get Montrezl Harrell. KCP, I'll miss him every single day. That was a solid pl- that was a solid piece for us. Good defender, decent shot on him as well. He's a solid ball player. Montrezl Harrell, he could go. I'm not not thinking twice about it. Kuzma's the interesting one to me because Kuzma when he first was on the Lakers, that first rookie season, even his second season, he showed a lot of promise. But then once he had stars on his team and he was asked to be more off-ball type of scorer, became difficult for him to grasp that that role and really be consistent with with playing at a, a at a high level. Now, he comes here to Washington, which you're looking at it he's most likely at best the third option. You have obviously Beal, Dinwiddie's going to get the ball, you didn't Might be like the fourth fifth. Exactly. I'm saying, a- no, exactly 100%. At Dinwiddie's going to have more touches than him, then Rui Hachimura is going to probably get more touches than him. It's not as if he's going to a situation where, okay, Kuz, you're going to be our guy. We're going to give you the ball, and we're going to ask you to, to go and try and get us 20 to 23 a night. 
It's not it's not going to be like that. It's a pretty similar situation to what's going on in L.A. So I'm not all in on this move either. Now, the reason why I'm also down on them is, let's say, like I mentioned, their ceiling, I do believe, is a play-in team because there's, you're right, they're deep. They're a deep enough team where they could probably, they, they have a chance at making the play-in. But let's say they lose a bunch of games early. Let's say they're... Three and eleven, three and fourteen, something like that. Do you think it's time to move on from Bradley Beal and, and ensure that you're actually getting compensation for Bradley Beal? If Brad, if I'm Bradley Beal and my team's three and fourteen already, I'm gonna I'm gonna play hard, obviously, because I'm Bradley Beal and I know I could probably average twenty six to twenty eight points per game, but thirty my, exactly, yeah, for real. He's that he's he's like that offensively. But his heart's not in it. He's already not that a, a defensive-minded player. The biggest, ho- the biggest hole for them last season was defense. They brought in KCP as a good defender. Sure, Montrezl Harrell's a solid defender. Other than that, there was nothing really that, that any moves they made that moved the needle for them. If they lose games early on, they need to look and think, all right, Bradley, either we're going to ship you and we're going to actually get something or we're going to let you walk. We're going to get absolutely nothing for you. And our franchise is going to be in an even worse position, a position than it already is. So their floor for me is a bottom three team. It's, it's, it's a possibility that if they lose enough games and Bradley Beal's out of there, they're done for this season. And you're right. They could possibly be a lottery team. Wow. Uh, Bradley Beal is good enough to, to actually, to not be a bottom three team. Lottery, I can maybe see, like, if they're, like, the 14th best chances. I'm with you. With, maybe. with Beal, no way they're they're a bottom three. But but the Wizards, I'd actually be feeling pretty optimistic if I was a Wizards fan about this, about this team. Uh, for the reason that I think, when asking that question of, do a combination of role players fulfill a role of a star? It depends. I think Russell Westbrook, it does. You know, I think these, these players... I'd much rather have Dinwiddie, KCP, Kuzma, and Harrell rather than just having Westbrook. If I am a team like Washington, who already doesn't have two stars that can compete for a championship. But I think Washington is in a good position, and they fired Scott Brooks. Wes Unsell Jr. is the coach now. I'd be feeling very optimistic about that. Scott Brook Brooks runs one of the more predictable offenses in the NBA, and it's been that way since OKC. With Russ and KD, it's our offense is running through them. It's they're going to take their turns on who goes, who isos, when and where, and that's it. In Washington, it was much of the same thing. They didn't have a fluid offense, and their defense was bad as well. But I think Daniel Gafford, finding him who was a gem, does up their defense. Kuzma is not a bad defender. Dinwiddie, Beal, we know they're bad. But I think this offense has the potential to be a very fluid and free-flowing offense, which is going to help these players. But we mentioned it the other day, they lack a true playmaker, right? Dinwiddie's not a playmaker. Beal's not a playmaker. Kuzma isn't either. Maybe even without Scott Brooks, we're looking at a team that just takes turns. I think Kuzma is the third option. Harrell's going to come off the bench, and he'll be that guy. Mm -hmm. But I think Kuzma's going to fill into that third role, and there'll be nights he'll be that second. But I'm not sure if Kuzma's just— though. He hasn't reported to the team yet, and he's dealing with some personal matters. So Hachimura might not be there to start the season. Kuzma, I think, does settle into that role, and their bench has a lot of players that are good and good NBA players. I'd be feeling optimistic about this team and the direction we're going in if I was a Wizards fan. But in terms of what they can be, they're a playing team. I think their ceiling is making it to the playoffs as the eighth seed, yep. their floor is missing it as a 10th, ninth. But they're definitely a playing team as long as Bradley Beal's there. They have a good collection of talent on their roster that can do okay. I wouldn't say do too great, yeah, I, but they I, can do okay. I agree. I think, you know, lottery, when I say lottery, I don't mean bottom lottery, but I think they're like in the 12. They'll pick in the 12, 13, 11s. Like, they'll pick there because they're, they're still a team that can make a run into the playing. But, you know... Let's see. Let's you know all the Bradley Bill fans jumping on our necks. He's this. He's that. So let's see. And they complain about him not having a team, but he chose to stay. Yeah. So let's see. He has. This is a team that can get you into the playoffs. Playing. Let's see. We've seen guys drag worse teams to the playing or the playoffs. So let, let's see how good he really is. You know. Let's see if he can carry this team. This team is a solid team, up and down, ten man rotation. So we'll see. There's a lot of guys with a lot of things to prove. So it's going to be a chip on their shoulder. Same with their coach. So it's going to be interesting to see, definitely. 